Hi, I'm Scott. Scott. We'll do that again. <laughs> he ran into it. He just ran yeah, into it. I'm Nosey Rosie. Oh, uh, uh, no, she won't do that. <laughs> yeah. Hi, I'm Scott. And I'm Shelly. Welcome to Whiskey and Sunshine Off Grid. And we made it through the eclipse. Did you? If well, if you, if you didn't, I don't think they're going to answer. They wouldn't be watching. No. So, oh, yeah. True. The eclipse. Wow. Yep. That's pretty cool. We had like, uh, what, 97%? Total it eclipses. Was quite a like bit. Yeah. Uh, we, we, we pretty much had one little tiny sliver, was all you could see. You just barely. Uh, it was really cool because it was like sundown, but yeah, the shadows were all in the wrong place. It was, it was very strange. confusing. All of our uh, mm -hmm. solar lights all came on, <laughs> which is pretty weird. Yeah. But, and, but the chickens didn't seem phased at all. No, although no. they did move closer to the coop, which they do that in the evening. You know, they're out and about all day long, and then as it gets closer to nighttime, bedtime, they get closer to the coop, and then they just jump in when they're ready to go to bed. And I did notice that they went around the corner and went closer to the door. Yeah, they were kind of going. confused, Acton, and then a I think they bit. were more confused by the temperature, which was quite a shock. I bet it dropped twenty degrees in temperature here. That was a shocker. Of course. You got to understand, even though it doesn't look like it right now, it's, it's a beautiful day here. It's probably close to 65 degrees right here where we're sitting in the shade. And um, what we got to remind you is in the last month, we've had five feet of snow. <laughs> but it's gone. It's almost it's gone. all gone. So, yeah, they, uh, just this same week, um, in the last within the last seven days, seven days, we plowed two feet of snow in one storm. And I'm already down working on the gravel driveway with the rake in the same week, which is messed up. I've never had that much snow and been working on springtime driveway chores on the driveway in the same week. Yeah, your first day off, you were yeah, that was Yeah, that was weird. Plowing snow, and then now you're getting ready to go back and... You know, it's probably going to snow again then. No, oh, no, we don't say that. Remember what I told you? We don't say those things. Yeah, I'm always somebody's always telling me not to say those things. So Zuckerberg or somebody's always don't say that. <laughs> yeah, my yeah. friend Karen says you. Yeah, <laughs> but it's been busy. I mean, we've done a lot of stuff. I know we haven't put out many videos lately. We we just wanted to, you know, throw uh, throw a video out there, maybe show you some of the little stuff we have been doing around the house. It's not that we haven't been busy. We have actually. We've been busy enough so. I really haven't had much time to make videos. Uh, a lot of our subscribers, we, you know, you guys probably share common interests, and you may also have subscribed to uh, My Tiny Retirement. Um, some folks that are here also in this state, about, uh, oh, I don't know, 50 or so miles away from us. Uh, Christine over there has been going through a real rough time with her mom, um, and it sounds like she uh, probably is approaching some end of life care situations and we'd like to update since we videoed this piece uh christine has lost her mother so if you'd like to you could go over to my tiny retirement's channel and watch a few of their videos show some support and let them know that we are all thinking of them prayers and thoughts go out to christine and uh mitch, mitch over to my tiny retirement yep. we know how hard that is losing parents and it's never easy no. so uh on that note we'll move on to happier I happier do, things i do oh. want to mention that i went to see them uh just before christmas two years ago with my friend patty so i'll link that video down in the description too because we had a lot of fun they are yeah. great people uh, yeah things are starting to warm up here on a happier note like like i said i got the bottom part of our road done all i've got left to do is the hill from hell and kind of got to let that thaw out a little more there's still a lot of frost in the ground and i i need to recover a lot of my crushed rock and gravel out of the ditches and bring it back to the driveway as usual and get this, that smoothed up this year it's got quite banged up yeah it's well, and it's, it's a rough rough winter on the hill so what else we had the eclipse we've seen yeah. bridges getting hit by ships that seems to be a new thing ships losing power when they're coming into port all of a sudden all of a sudden yeah who knows what's that it's not like a tra train derailment or a food processing plant or, uh, i don't yeah, know i don't even don't get me started well i, would I like threw to away know. all the tinfoil yesterday with the eclipse oh was, yeah well that eclipse was 
We didn't talk enough about the traffic. Oh. Our state was one of the states that had the totality. We're in Maine. If you didn't know. And the northern part of Maine had a big swath that was in the totality area. We were not. 97, would you say 97%? 97, So we yeah. were close. But, and it was perfect. We were right here on the deck watching it. It was perfect for us. We didn't no have problem parking. <laughs> but I will tell you that we had an influx of people, like probably many states that had the totality. I never saw so many. Insane. I've never seen so many vehicles go by here ever. Yeah. Ever. And they were all headed the same way. My friend Dennis told me that uh, the little airport up in Rangeley, Maine, they had 400, 400 airplanes fly in yesterday wow. afternoon. 400. Yeah. I know when I was sitting out here, they were, I could hear them. They were just going, and I had never heard such, so many little planes fly through here. We have big ones, a lot. And we had military traffic through here today going like crazy. Oh, I missed yeah, I, know, I didn't see what they were, but they were, uh, they were definitely fighters. I mean, we've had, we get a lot of, was it uh, 117s? And we get a lot of, uh, we used to get a lot of F-16s, but lately it's been more the, uh, the 117s and sometimes the uh they're either the uh, was it the 35 or the 22 one of those with the triangle shaped wings oh i don't know yeah. with the dual tail they're and going when, fast. they're going so fast you, you have a hard time seeing which is which i have no problem telling them apart when you know when they're sitting on the ground uh, yeah. you show me a picture but when they're going through here at 400 miles an hour yeah it's you know half a second and they're gone so it's quick i love it because we're right in their path of they go right over our house. Sometimes low enough so you can smell them. And it's fantastic. I love it. Yep. it I just love it. But, yeah, not when I miss it. That ticks me off. But I don't Funny. Know. I thought of you when I heard it. I know. Because, you know, you can hear them way off. You can hear And it sounds like a truck down the, you know, way down the road, like a big truck. So sometimes I don't move fast because I'm like, that isn't one of them. But then as I hear it get louder and louder, I'm like, shh, snikes. It's them. <laughs> And I run out the door, and by that time, they're going, jing, jing, and I'm like, yeah. but anyway. <laughs> I didn't get to a window quick enough, to, or outside yeah. quick enough to see him today, we so can't. I don't know what it we're was. We're old. We can't move fast enough <laughs> <that> anymore. But, <laughs> I'll get a cramp halfway into the door, and it's a mess. It's just a mess. <laughs> I always have a cramp one way or another, it seems like. I don't know what that's up, what's up with that. But. Oh, hey, those baby chicks are getting big. Yeah. They are getting huge. We've got 10 of them. Uh, most of them are Easter Eggers. I think uh, I got two, uh, what did I get? Two Golden Wine Dots at Tractor Supply. Well, you got some uh, uh, Barred Rocks. Yeah, and two Barred Rocks. That was the other thing. I was like having a blank there for a second, but yes. I'm hoping those are hens, because we had a Barred Rock hen that was one of my favorites. She was my buddy. Yeah. She used to sit on the deck with me and eat pizza crust. <laughs> she, she was, was fun. She, <laughs> she thought she was a dog. We got those chairs with the wide arms on it, and she'd climb up on that, and she'd lay on it right next to you, and she'd kind of watch you side eye if you were eating or something. <laughs> They're funny. Yeah. But For something with such a small brain, they sure, they sure are funny. Yeah. So but, uh, I'm pretty sure I got at least two roosters out of that. Pack, well, we've but. lost a couple of birds in the past yeah. few weeks, so... Yeah. And they're getting old, you know. We we keep them around for as long as they can. I I always said when they weren't laying anymore, I was going to kill them off, put them in a crock pot. But you know what? <laughs> Maybe it's because I'm getting old. I don't know. And, of course, you know, we don't have other pets really anymore to speak of. So you kind of develop a little bit of an attachment to them, you know. And they follow you around when you're doing stuff in the yard. And They laid a lot of eggs for us in the past. And, you know, if you consider how little they eat, you know, as far as feed goes, and in warm weather, like right now, even the ones that aren't laying, they're out there mowing on the ticks and all that yeah. stuff. They just eat it right up. So you know what? I'm going to let them old birds live. She, they I'm going to let them live. She may not lay eggs, but she definitely cleans up the mess, you know, the, yeah. the bugs. Yeah, absolutely. And she helps stir up the garden. They've been and they help with digging. the small chickens, too. I, I Some of them do. I mean, even the some. older birds, you'd think they'd be frustrated and be nailing them all the time and some of them do but a lot of them are really good yeah. they really are we got a good flock 
We've but been pretty fortunate. We needed some new blood because the past two years we've had only we generated Yeti, our own only yeah. Yeti kids, and we need to get some different yeah. different blood in there. So that's good. Some footage while we're yapping here of all the stuff we've been doing. You know, we've we've already changed the adjustment on our solar array mm -hmm. and got it back down to the summer angle, so it's pointed more at the sun. Yep. Seems to be making a difference on what we get for power. Well, and if you look at that sun, it is definitely higher in the sky. So, correct. It needs to be. They needed to be changed. So that's yep. a good thing. We got our faucets, outside faucets. Yeah, we got our there. outside faucets turned back on and so, all that. So we got water outside. Yep. That's oh, a, it's probably time to change the water filter too. I that's done a that. big. That's a big thing for a chicken keeper having the water on. So you don't have to haul well, it from inside. Anybody that keeps animals will tell you buckets Absolutely. of water suck. And yes, yeah. I mean, but, it's good that you can do it, but it's nice to have that spout right there. It is. So, yeah, little things, the little things. Yeah, you got some new uh, hardware for our vehicles. We broke down and spent the money and bought um, some uh, mounting solutions for our phones and cameras and stuff for our vehicles. From a place called Bullet Point, and I'm going to tell you right now, they're fantastic. I mean, are they expensive? Mm -hmm. Yep. Are they worth it? Absolutely. Especially, I mean, it, it's not just for content creators, although I think that's kind of what they're geared, geared. toward, or they yeah. started out that way, definitely. Mm -hmm. uh, but they're getting to the point where they've got a mounting solution for almost every vehicle, especially pickups and SUVs and stuff like that. And it's really nice not to fight with suction cups yeah. and all these really subpar <laughs> setups that we've always dealt with. You could never count on them and it's not shaky. These things are rock solid. You know, um, I've spent probably the same amount of money that we paid for one of these that I have on suction cup ones that don't, don't end work up yeah. after a while, especially when they're on a hot you know, the hot dashboard, the sun's beating on it. Right it's on. got sticky on it. It comes up. These they things, are, right they're totally they're adjustable. Great. They they have a selection of mounts for everything from uh, microphones for your radios to, uh, like, iPads to phones to GoPros. They have everything you could imagine. Yeah. And, like I said, this stuff is pricey, but there's a reason. Yeah. It's really nice not to have to fight with stuff. Oh, and Charles from... Uh, oh Arkansas yes Charlie veterans. yeah I do want to say that he could really use some prayers he's got some terrible things going on with his health and uh, he explains it all out in a video so if you are interested in checking it out but these people are uh, some of our I want to say oldest supporters it's not like we've been around a long time but they found us relatively early and they've been with us for a long time they're mo almost like family you know we get used to you guys uh, they comment all the time and uh, what the sky was like yesterday after oh, the eclipse and before the eclipse yeah it was completely clear complete blue sky not a cloud in the sky after the eclipse all of a sudden jets and clouds clouds jets planes, and contrails jets. and clouds yes all that is a and who knows why you know i mean they it's pretty funny how the government cleared the skies for us. <laughs> <laughs> I said it not him this time. I said it not him. I think the Reverend Billy Gibbons once said, I wouldn't touch you with a 10-foot pole. <laughs> I'm staying out of it. <laughs> anyway, I think I'm done. Are you done? Yeah, I think I'm done. Want to go do some stuff? Yeah, let's go do some stuff. Let's go do some stuff. All right, All right guys. We'll Bye. see you next time.